Hey, what's up? So I have a floor stacking method that I have been using for like a year and I don't see a lot of people using it. Um, you have to start off with it. Maybe that's why, but I, I haven't seen anybody showing it off. So I just wanted to show how I do it. There's two ways to do it. It has to be flat. You could do it on hills. It's a lot harder though. Um, find a flat spot and raise your triangle just so the shadow shows on the second, uh, on the second rung. Come over, find a spot, lift your mouse, click, come over, and butt it up like that. Now, if it passes this first check, where you see how both um, the ones facing you, both the walls facing you can, can place, if it passes that check, it's usually like 90% going to work. But let's just say, so this is how I usually do my starter, build it out here, put a TC. What I'll do is I'll come over here, get rid of these, and then this is my second check. Can I place these here and here? If it'll let me. Okay, so that'll let me. So then the final check is just to like, I put my TC and I hope for the best. Because there's still like a small chance it doesn't work for some reason. But... Basically, my footprint is like this. So, let me just build my walls. All I need is the walls to see if it'll work. So, If this doesn't work, I'll usually just make another base nearby. Because all I'll have is like, and it'll be like a secondary base. So, it's not the end of the world if it doesn't work for me. But, uh, I'll come out and just go around and hope that it works. But if those first two checks work, it usually works. So, it looks like it's working out just fine. Yeah, so. That's how I do it. And, uh, well, you get rid of all those. But basically, I'll come around and I'll put my uh, walls here. And then you can see the lower wall and the higher wall. Lower wall, higher wall. And so once I'm in my base, I basically just build my, you know, base as usual. Da, 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 da. And then when I'm ready, I just floor stack it. Basically, so I have like another layer. I do that on every floor too. But basically, that's how I do my floor stack. I've seen the ones where they build out. And then like you go on the half walls and then you slowly fall down. It's so crap. I've never had good luck with that. You're able to do it after you built your base, so that's a bonus. But I just start off with my floor stack. And uh, so that's how I do it. I haven't seen a lot of people or anybody like showing this method. Oh, uh, the other method, the other way that you could do it, instead of, it, say you're in the water, right? So you can't really see. Sometimes I, I want to put it in the water. Well, I can't see the shadow that good. So I'll place that. Oh, well, it's going to be, uh, hold on. Let me set it to twig. So I'll place that, and then I'll place a uh, ramp. And you're going to want to put your feet between this little, like, uh, slat, this little hole right there. And then just do the same thing that you did before. Except you're going to go the other way. Lift your mouse so it doesn't move on you. Click. There. Oh. Yeah, so you want to do that check. Because it may not work. Um, if that check fails, then just do it again. Kind of put your uh, feet between this little hole right here. And try again. I notice it helps a lot if you don't go too far. There. Okay, so... It should work. If it passes this test, it's like 90%. And then sometimes it'll fail somehow the second test. That's pretty rare. Very rarely. But if it passes this test I, about, I want to say one out of ten times for some reason, I'll get about halfway around my base and it'll fa it'll fault out right here against a wall or something. So it can fail. But if you test it here, it should be good. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to show that off because I haven't seen anybody. That's how I do it every wipe. <laughs> Every single wipe, I start off the same way, um, and it works out great.